What do you think of that new land? Is it cool? Do you even care? Huh? Okay. Whatever. I'll leave you alone. You're not supposed to be on the couch, but whatever. What's going on, guys? Brandon Hockeyus. Um, welcome to the video. Episode five, I think, of Road to Summer Shredding. Um, right now, I'm just at Best Buy. I'm gonna buy another SD card and then torture myself looking at all the cameras that I can't afford but that I kind of want. These are both like $40. Dang, but 128 gig memory card and then a windshield for my mic because I need one, so yeah. All right, so not only did I buy a memory card and a windshield, which I didn't plan on the windshield. I was just gonna buy it because I needed it. And I, I, it reminded me that I needed one. And I needed the SD card. That's what I initially went there for. But then I started looking at the cameras and the lenses and I bought a freaking lens. I bought a $400 lens just because I wanted it. check out the new lens this thing's so sick uh okay i don't regret buying it i kind of like i'm mad at myself but this thing is oh this is dope i really like this i'm happy with this purchase oh this is gonna be so much easier to film now i don't think you guys understand like i can hold the camera like so much closer to my face now because of how much this lens picks up like how wide it is this is dope. I've been wanting one like this. If you've been watching my videos, I've been talking about how I need a wider lens and I finally bought one. Or this is the one that I bought and oh, I am happy right now. This is dope. Oh, this is so sick. White and green. Whoops. Well, we didn't get the clip, but I uh, I fell a little bit. Nothing bad, just I broke the wheel a little bit, so we gotta go swap it out. The sides are all bent in. I don't even know if I can't. That sucks. Yo, you picked like the hardest trick to do on flat. That is like, it's such a weird trick. Like, I, like it even looks weird. Like, it just comes back on its own. It defies gravity. Bam! That didn't look good at all. <laughs> That's a hard trick, some, that's a wrap. Oh, okay. So I came to the skate park to do some alternative cardio and I broke my scooter. Um, so that's, that's kind of what you guys saw. So the wheel was messed up, so I just rode it in the parking lot. So that way I wouldn't get hurt if it broke on a ramp or anything like that. But that got messed up, so. What a day. What a sick, sick video. Anyways, let's go grocery shopping. Okay, so we're starting off with some mushrooms and some baby spinach because those are both really, really low calorie, like high volume things um, that I eat like a lot of times with breakfast. So that way I feel full in the morning and I don't, feel like I need to eat more so that helps 
like the voluminous foods, it helps make you feel full, even though it's really low calorie. You dig? You always have to have bananas. These look good. More low calorie things, um, blackberries and mixed melon bowl. Really just any fruits and it helps you get your fiber and then you hit your micronutrients. Definitely need some of these. So for protein sources, egg whites, we got chicken breasts and 96.4 ground beef. And then I found these uh, frozen poke bowls. So I'm just gonna have these taste out. Oh, and I totally spaced about uh, the reduced fat cheddar cheese. And I like all of the Nature Valley protein granolas. So they only have six fat, 31 carb, but 10 extra protein in this compared to say like this, which is three protein. So definitely the protein granola. And I like the chocolate one. So we're going with that. Let's put in the yogurt. Our little grocery haul is done. We got all the stuff. And uh, so that's gonna be our groceries for like the week. That's about it. Why don't you do anything productive with your life? I went into work, bro. Oh, okay. Nice. Man, we're really about to go climb this mountain right here. So, couldn't really scooter that much, so I didn't really get any calories burnt or did any cardio at the skate park. So now me and Zach are gonna go, go on a sick hike. Yeah. And, uh, honestly, I'm not ready. I trained legs yesterday, and then I went to the skate park for a little bit, and now we're gonna do this big ass hike. so nice like last time I was up here that was not that green wow although it is starting to get let's zoom that up starting to get really really steep this is where the, the summer shredding comes in <laughs> we're already so high up and we just started like we were way down there <sighs> and he wore white out of boy we are also just talking about how this is one of those times that I wish I had a drone. That'd be perfect right now. One day, subscribe to the channel so I can make more money and get a sick drone. Yeah, drone shots. Sweet content, bro. Hell yeah, that actually looks really good. Dope. So we just came up some treacherous landscape and all of this was super loose gravel and was super slippery, but we got to come out to this like false summit almost. Did you just look at that? Just a view over the city. Woo! As I'm sliding around. That's pretty. That's nuts. So we started all the way down there. And we're supposed to go all the way up there. Oh boy. This wasn't my idea, this was yours. I guess I got a bug on you, look at that. This wasn't my oh, idea. Anyway. You too. All right, so one of my favorite parts about hiking, especially like harder hikes or like steeper hikes, is going back down because you pretty much, like you, you can't fight the momentum, so you pretty much have to like jog down and you just like bounce off rocks and like jump off things and it's like doing parkour. It's, I don't know, I'm gonna try to like film it without breaking this camera and uh, hope for the best. Woohoo! Woo. That's so much fun. I mean, it's probably a little dangerous though, but if you can do it, definitely should. Woo. 
This is like one of those times where I also wish I had a GoPro. All right, okay, and guys, for reference, like, this is like what I'm running down right now. Like, I'm just dodging all these rocks and trees and like, yeah, this has been fun. You having fun yet? Yeah. All right, your white shoes still white? No. It's okay. There's always new ones, right? All right, we're at the gym now. So we're doing a back and bicep and abs workout. Um, so right now we're warming up pull-ups, warming up with pull-ups. I swear I can speak English. But, so we're gonna jump up here. So I'm going anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Super light, just to get blood flowing into the muscles. And through the entire motion, I'm pulling through my elbows to engage more of my lats versus my biceps. Full range of motion. Simple as that. All right, next exercise is this chest supported seated row. And we're gonna be doing like three to four sets, eight to 10. Get full range of motion, and then on the back, you really want to retract your shoulder blades and then pinch your elbows back as if you're trying to meet them behind. That's how you're gonna get a full contraction. Yeah. Baby elephant. <laughs> it's really heavy. <laughs> so this time, Tucker's doing the exercise. And he's doing the reverse grip, lat pull down. Same concept as when we were doing the pull ups. All the way up, pull through the elbows, squeeze at the bottom. Thank you. Good. See how he gets that full stretch at the bottom too? This comes all the way out. That's how you make the most of your gains, dude. Right there. The more muscle fibers you tear, the bigger you're gonna get. Huh. Yep. What am I getting? Just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> Next up on the list is gonna be a cable curl with the easy curl bar. But the interesting thing about this is we're gonna lean more back and kind of bring our elbows in front of our body here and pin it in front. That way they're constantly out of elevated uh, like position, I guess. And then when we go to squeeze, it's gonna be at a constant tension regardless. And then we're gonna have our bodies to press against and we can apply pressure. So it's kind of like a preacher, but using your body as a bench. So, it looks something along the lines of this. Elbows pinned, they're not moving at all. And just squeeze through the top. And then I like to flex my tries at the bottom. That way I know biceps are fully extended. So I go, try, squeeze. Another big perk of like the body preacher curl is you look freaking jacked. Look how big this man's arms is. Boy. 
last back exercise, we're gonna do a sideways, or like a, yeah, sideways hammer strength pull down. Um, and then same thing with every other back exercise. Squeeze at the bottom, pull through your elbow. Um, personally, I like to hook my thumb over the top and make kind of a hook. I feel like it makes it easier for me to pull through my elbow, activate my lat, and try to avoid activating my bicep as much. So, it looks something along the lines of this, dude. I really like that one. That's actually probably like out of a good chunk of my back exercises, like that's what really helped with my like lat development and like my kind of width. Alright, so for abs, we're starting off with these leg lifts. I'm gonna get a full extension at the bottom. Legs all the way straight. Body makes a horizontal line. Bringing up just past 90 and squeezing through the abs, not through the legs. According to Tucker, we're doing three sets until failure, which is. I don't train abs, like ever. I'm just genetically gifted. <laughs> All right, so next up is gonna be like a variation of a windshield washer or windshield wiper. I can talk, I swear, if you guys know what that is. So essentially we're gonna be laying on our backs and we're gonna be taking our feet and going side to side and it's gonna put a lot of strain onto our obliques and then our serratus interior, which is like those shark kills kind of muscles, um, which a lot of people like when they are trying to get abs for the first time, I guess, or like they're trying to improve their abs. So it kind of looks something along the lines of this. Put your arms out for stability, especially when you're first starting. Here. Pause the top, and then don't touch your feet to the ground at the bottom. Just come really close to the ground. But don't actually ever lose tension in your muscles. How do you feel? I really want a cheeseburger. Like cheeseburger and wings, I, those are my two top cravings throughout this prep race so far. I haven't cheated yet though. And I hit a new low weigh-in. Normally like once I do that, I'd like ease up on myself a little bit and be like, oh, you can have a cheat meal now. Like you hit a new weigh-in, like you're obviously losing weight here. Splurge a little bit, but no. And don't forget, you also reached a new hole on your belt. I did reach a new hole on my belt. Like my waist has gotten that much smaller. I had to completely suck it in. But it was, it was still hard to get in, but I can't use my old notch on my belt. So, but we're, gonna, we're not gonna cheat. We're gonna keep grinding and maybe cheat in like two weeks. I think I need to explain this next one, but it's literally your basic ass crunch. So, everybody's seen it. It's just a sit up, but on a bench. Perfect. Gold. I just want to point out how I cannot handle Colorado's weather anymore. Like, literally, yesterday was like 70 something, I want to say. And now it's raining and it's hailing and it's starting to snow and it's like. 30 degrees I just I don't understand how that works I just ah. 
All right, guys, so I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap up the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. But until then, see you guys in the next one. Peace. But now, what's just